All right. Let's go to Maran. To your Dalif. All right. So after we have we have already explained that it is alluded to in the words of Rav Amabachana that the Dibor illuminates to a person to do tshuva and it's not possible to to merit uh, an illuminating Dibor unless a person has a Nova and Shiflos, unless a person has a uh, humbleness and the Anova has to be a real one, real humbleness. You mevatel, you covet the covet the Kodesh Baruch Not an Anova because you know that to be prideful is very low. So, you know, so you make it an Anova, so people think like, wow, he's like so special, he's an Anova. Now, the Rebbe is going to explain how he's like to true Anova. Um, how can you merit this? To, to, to break off your own ego, your own pride, totally. should be perfect. By, 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 by being Shabbos and these two Abachinus. That is the supernal unification. This is the high level of guarding the bris. The Yichud at the top, the lower unification. Because Shmir Sabris and humbleness depend on one another. Through the Shmir Sabris, a person is Zorich to another. He says that that high, in other words, the way to get to that thing, to break the, the gaiver, is through Ziz Sadai. In other words, the Yichud Eloi, Shubchas Yichud Eloi, the Yichud Etatoi. Shadai Yichud Eloi, by accomplishing the upper Yichud, and the lower Yehud, which is the guarding of the covenant in these two aspects, the Zekovet Mishlemus. This is the saying that that brings about the covenant perfectly. The Kovet Mishlemus, and by achieving Kovet Mishlemus, this is the saying that an able one. To marry the Sipata, which is the Dibor, from Tzeben Maya Lerakia, that's the the, the 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 connecting link, the communication link between a person and understanding Torah in great depth. Why does this Sada is talking about it? This is the is 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 the law Yichud. If Chinas Matat, that's the Malach Matat, that's the Angel Matat, that's the Loa Yichud. The Loa Yichud is in the six days of the week. Then the Kodesh Baruch Hu clothes himself in Malach Matat and, and, and leads the world, conducts the world through him. Malach Matat, Ubchinas Miknafa Aretz, Malach Matat is the edges of the land. The wing of the land says in Ois Vav. It says that the the, the the wing is a remez Malach Matat. And we said Hakadosh Baruch Hu Loi Chanefod Morecha, and and your teacher will not be winged anymore, which means that Hakadosh Baruch Hu will not be hidden anymore. As you can also see that wing Pirusho Hester is is it's it's hiding, it's concealment. Hakadosh Baruch Hu will not be concealed by. The Levush, which is Malach Matat. So you see, Malach Matat is called Levush, it's Knavar, it's, it's. And the name of Kodesh Baruch Hu is the name of Kodesh Baruch Hu because Matat, his full name is Memtestes, 
ריש וו נון, רצת פורמל, זה גימטריה סדאי. So, כנף is this. And it says in Medo Shabbat, אוף אחד יש, there is one bird, בשעה שמפריס אס כנפוב, when that bird spreads its wing and its fly, in flight, ומחשס השמש, it darkens the wind, it creates shade, it darkens the, it darkens the sun, darkens the sun. Of, you know, for whoever it is, it's under that bird, because it has huge wings. The Ziz Shmoy, that bird is called Ziz, has huge wings. So that's why Ziz is a euphemism for huge wings, for big wings, for Kanaf. And Kanaf is the euphemism for, for Malach Matar. That's the lower Yichud. Yichud Atachtam, Bechinas Matat. Bechinas Miknaf Ha'aretz. This is from the, from, from, from the Kanaf of the land. Now, and since that bird Ziz alludes to Malach Matat, also what that, that bird Ziz uh, is concealing the light of the sun, it also, it alludes to another quality which the Malach Matat has. Shebo mislabesh brit elor, that in the brit elor, the brit elor is cloaked in it. V'chid yichud ha'elyon, k'v'yochud delat v'kodesh baruchu, is concealed inside the brit elor. This Brit Eloi, the Brit Eloi, Shehu Pchinas Hashemesh. This world constitutes Yichod HaTachto. And the, the sun, when compared to this world, is considered Yichod HaElyon. And Klapei Yichod HaElyon, you know, vis-a-vis the supernal Yichod, the fact that the bird Ziz gets the light of the sun with its wings, it says that the, the Yichod HaTachton receives the light of the Yichod HaElyon. Because every Bechina, every aspect gets the light that comes from above it. So, the bird blocks, the bird is Malach Matat, right? It receives the light of the sun with its wings. It blocks the light, obviously, where does the light go? It receives it with its wing. The, 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 the Shemesh, the light of the Shemesh, is Yichud Elia. So the bird receives, the, the, the Malach Matan receives, the Wispinit Yichud Atachan receives the light of Yichud Elia. Through the, the... No, the, the is, is Malach Matan. The, 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 this is Bristit, Bristatot. These are, these are all uh, uh, parallel names. These are like synonyms. Malach Matan is a synonym of Ziz, is a synonym of Bristatot. As Yichud Atoy, but the, you know, these are all synonyms of one another. Not not one through one another. These are all synonyms of one another. So Pchinas Shemesh, Pchinas Yichud Ha'Elyon, and Brisi Loa, and Tzvon Satera. This is all called Yichud Eloy. These are all synonyms of Yichud Ha'Elyon, and. Malach Matat and Bristator, Yehudetator. This is, this is, these are all synonyms of Yehudetator. And this is what Rabashi said, Sadai, Zeb Kinas Yehudi Eloi Kanal. Because Sadai alludes to Nev Kodesh Baruch Hu Sadai, Shadai. Because the, we said that, 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 that Shaddai is Yichud HaElyon, Yichud HaTachton. It's a combination of both of them. Ki yes, Shaddai Shilcho. There is Shakai of Shabbos. And there is a Shakai of, you know, of, of, which is Yichud HaElyon. And there is a Shakai of Chol, which is Yichud HaTachton. But 
still the main name Shakai alludes to Yehuda Elion. But since the, the light of Yehuda Elion envelops itself, gets into, is cloaked in the Yehuda Tachton, as we said before, that the Shemesh is the Yehuda Elion, and it 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 is mislabish in the knafaim of matat, in the concealment of matat, which is Yichad Atachtun. That's why Yichad Atachtun is also called Shakai. But, but it's a pikinui. It's not, it's, it's, it's not the essence of Shakai, Shindana Diyod is Yichad Atachtun. But since Yichad Atachtun, you know, is hidden in Yichad Atachtun, so Yichad Atachtun is also called Shakai. But the main Shem Shakai is Yichad Atachtun. So you see, that Ziz alludes to Yichad Atachtan, and Shakai alludes to Yichad Atachtan. This is what he said, Ani Hashem, Hashem is Shmi, Chvodi l'achel lo etan, ti lo si lepsigim. This is says in the Pasuk, I am Hashem, you know, that's my name, and my honor I will not give to another, and my glory, to 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 idols, and what's alluded to in this pasuk is as follows: Ani Hashem, Zichodeilo. That's the upper Yichud, because Shem Avaya is 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 the Nosek Kodesh Baruch Hu is is Oh yeah, however he is, he was, he is, and he will be, and he is Adon Akol. He is the master of everything. Ve'enod Dovah Biladav. There's nothing that exists beside the Kodesh Baruch Hu. And also, this is the name which is said in Shema Yisrael, which is Kenegid Yichud Elyon, as we said in the beginning. And that which is said, Ani Hashem is Yichud Elyon, Hu Shmi, that is my name, Yichud Etatar, that's the lower Yichud. This alludes to Malach Matah, that his name is like the name of his, of his Rav. It says, Also, Ma'am Borshek Ba'machus Ha'elam Vayed, Yichud Etachton, you also, it says, Baruch Shem. You said the, the word name, the name is Shem. It says, Ani Hashem Hu Shmi, that's my name. So, Ani Hashem, Yichud Elion, name, that's my name, Yichud Atachtan. So, Shema Yisrael Hashem, Elokein Hashem, Yichud Elion. Baruch Shem, Kvod Machotor, Shem, Yichud Atachtan. Yichud Atachtan. Hu Shmi, Yichud Atachtan. And it says, "Chodi la'achel lo'etan." And my honor to another, I shall not give. Zeb chinas kovet b'shleimus. This is when the honor of Kodesh Baruch Hu is perfect. When the yichud ha'eli ratachtan are the way it's supposed to be. Person is loyche to to kovet shleimus b'shleimus. Mevatel kovet kovet v'zayi Kodesh Baruch Hu completely. That what he said, "Uti losi lepsilim in my glory to idols." The glory, the glory is Pchinas Dibor. The glory of Hashem, my mouth will speak. So you see, this is Pchinas Dibor. In other words, the Tehila, glory, praise, the praise of Hashem, this is Dibor. That's why Tehilosi is, is, alludes to Dibor. Now the word that person is zoicha to cover perfectly, he's zoicha to illuminate him dibor. When he speaks the, the dibor terror in his mouth, they will shine to him how to do tshuva and what to do tshuva. Everything kind of the way that we have said it before. Shem isboach b'zat Hashem u'mezakeas at kanter yaralaf. We should be zoicha to shmir sabris for the Lord for the Tzor. You know. Oh it's a very important Nakuda that needs to be brought. Being in Knesset Hashem, this, this video will be on YouTube. It's important people understand, you know. There is this issue with a lot of noise where children and, and teenagers get attacked physically, their body, get abused, the end of the breath, 
Now, you have two polarizing camps about, you know, abuse in the, the, in the Orthodox Haredi, whatever the word, what you want to call it. On one side of the ring, coming up, a svelte, 180 pounds, Tasmanian devils. They, you know, do the Orthodox suffer from the Catholic priest syndrome? You know, they, you know, they, they, they're covering up anything, don't trust their bond and whatever it is, go to the police and turn everybody in and blah, 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 blah. That's on one side. On the other side, you shouldn't talk about this, it doesn't exist, it doesn't happen. Okay. Both are wrong. All right? Both are wrong. The story with abuse is that it is a normal abnormality. It's a normal illness of society. The Haredi community is a community, a society which is comprised of many people, and like people get cancer. People abuse, children abuse, whatever it is. It is a part of life. Grow up, all right? What does it mean? There are ways of handling that. There are ways of handling that. Here there's an organization called Mane, which gives, which Rabbi Eisenstein put together. It's a fantastic, the way that it they deals with it, the first thing that needs to be done, you know, they say, go to the police, don't ask the rabbis. Says who? Maybe, maybe it didn't happen. How do you know it happened? You know, if, if you say about somebody, let's say a rabbi in school or whatever it is, you say that, you know, that, that you did something to one of the children or you, whatever it is, that's it. You call them. You, you, you kill them. It's like you, you, you might as well torture them, you know, put them on fire. That's, you kill them. That's his life is over. How do you know it happened? Only one, but same thing, I mean, but what if it did happen? You can't leave them in the school, it's a danger to the other children. So, it has to be investigated. It has to be, it has to be investigated sensitively. So I'm saying there is there is there is an organization called Man, eh? and 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 it, it comes you know as people get more and more awareness of it. First of all, you know, so they bring it in. They cry. They, they have they have different ways of, of checking it. I mean, the answers of the of the outside world do not fit our in in in, in, in Torah It does not fit. But they, they don't care. Are you burn them? This, this is called collateral damage. Yeah, but what about what about you know chas v'chalila in cases when children were hurt by one of the parents? This happens too. What are you going to do with the other siblings? Did it happen? You know, it happened. What? And the outside world, the fry world, they just go call the police, arrest them, boom. No, what if it didn't happen? What if it happened and it was just like, many times, it's not a question of it didn't happen at all, but many times it happens that, you know, that a child is abused and he throws it and somebody else, he said somebody else did it. Yeah. You know, I remember when I was a kid, when I was a kid, there were neighbors, like, I figured them to be low, they were low lives. It was like, it's like a, it's like a, like a, 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 a we, we looked at them as like, they were, the, they were just good, you know, people, they were good, good people, it's fine the people that lived, but, but they were poor. We had much, a slum right next to our, whatever it is, and, and me as a kid, I figured them to be criminals. So, there was a break-in somewhere. There was what? There was a break-in. A break-in, yeah. yeah. As a kid, I decided that that redhead brother of theirs, he's the one that did it. Call the police. I said, I know who did it. So, 
Luckily, I had a, we had a, we had a maid in the house. So, you know, this is, he said, she called me, she doesn't know who did it. I had no problem saying that, you know, I know who did it. But, because the kid, I figured, he did it. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, if, uh, things like this happen. Just because it's a very serious and heartbreaking problem doesn't mean that it's a truth every time. I'm not saying it's malicious. You know, children are children. And many times the big problem is not grown-ups, it's children with children. You know, children victimize other children. Yeah. The, the point is that it needs to be, it needs to be, the, and over here, we have a congregation, we have a kehillah. The kehillah, yes, could be, you know, people ever saying, you know, kehillah ostracizes, if you open up your mouth, blah, blah, blah. People don't realize that you know, kehillah can, can be great help. What do you think? Everybody, everybody's a villain. Everybody's a maniac in the Kehillah. They're very responsible people. And speaking of Torah the Rabbanim, they don't. It's it's not that they that, that they understand these things. That's not the issue. The point is they don't understand the business either. There's many many different things they don't understand. But you come to them and you explain to them what the problem is, what are the options. And they're very wise people with a lot of experience, and they tell you, you know, do this, do that. You know, they're in position, you know, decision position. So this particular, this particular organization, you know, is very good contact with the revacha, you know, with the welfare society. They're very good kind with the police. They're very, kind of, you know, so 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 teachers and the parents speak to them. They never say it to fry people. They say things. They reveal things that they would never say to the outside world. So there is, a, there is a solution to this, but the first thing that need, people need to understand is that there's a problem, and it's a quote-unquote normal problem. It's part of life. Yeah. It's part of life. Shabbat yeah. Shalom.